very uh, misty and cloudy when I set off, but it's turning out lovely today. Um, I think today we will talk uh, San Fargo. This bike uh, does make me want to explore. Mm -hmm. You should be out on this all day long, just enjoying yourself, totally checking in the views. Lovely, so comfortable. So you can ride this bike basically anywhere because of the versatility in the tires. It's uh, it's just unbelievable. Um, so I'll put my mic on just so you can hear me a bit clearer. So I was out riding on this um, yesterday and uh, when I did a bit of the filming and uh, I went past some guys and a guy went, oh, um, what kind of bike is that? And the other guy went, it's a gravel bike. And I just want to set the record straight. You are really underestimating this bike if you think it's a gravel bike because it ain't no gravel bike. And I don't like pigeonholing bikes into these marketing terms, but I would class a gravel bike as a road bike with a bit a bit slacker geometry maybe than a road bike but can take wider tires uh, this can take three inch in 29 and 27.5 so a lot wider than what a gravel bike would take that head tube angle there is 69 degrees i i would personally say a gravel bike has a steep head tube angle on this this is a drop bar mountain bike okay everything about this is a mountain bike the tires it can take that sloping top tube, that hat, long seat post. This is basically a mountain bike and I've been riding this all sorts of places and it is amazing. I absolutely love it. The feel of this bike is spot on. So you may have seen on my Instagram and other videos that I've done some different bar changes. So I originally had on here some um, gravel, gravel bars that um, came with the two trans scrambler and they were 420 wide um, because they flared out these hoods were really close together and it only left you a little bit of space there to put your hands well really really too narrow for for my liking so i swapped them out to some surly truck stop which were okay um, they had a bit of a rise on them but I just thought, you know what, I'm going to give the proper surly bars a go. That's what the bike was designed for. So I got these wood chippers. Uh, these are the widest ones. I think they're 46. And I know people have a love-hate relationship with these, but I love them. They've really got a lot of space there. These aren't, I haven't got these angled in that extreme, so they feel really comfortable. I can reach the brakes on the hoods and also on the drops and... On the drops it's really comfortable position as well um, so i'm using micro shift friction shifters which you can also turn to indexed and what i might do is i was a bit concerned about them sticking out too far but um, they do work fine there but what i might do is pull components you can get a shifter like this for um, a flat bar from micro shift but the micro shift stuff I've found is quite difficult to get hold of. Um, so a good solution is Paul Components, they do lots of um, mounts for these shifters. So I can actually turn this from a bar end shifter to a flat bar shifter and they also have different clamp diameters. So I can just take that off and put it on a different clamp for the drop bar or I can put it on a different clamp for a flat bar. So that will get it, give it more versatility. So, um, I bet some of you are wanting to know how much this weighs, don't you? So, let's have a see, eh? I have brought some scales with me. So this has um, some, a light wheel set, well, light rims. It's got uh, Velocity Blunt SS. It's got a Sun Dynamo hub and it's got DT Swiss 240 rear hub i'll take this off it is set up tubeless got a couple of cages on they're just uh, turtec aluminium cages 
White Industries, one by Crank, Shimano Micro Spleen, Cassette, and the TRP Hydro Bricks. So, let me see if I can lift this up high enough. Stitching it in an awkward place there. Uh, where else would be a good, a good place to try this? Nope. I know. I just need to be higher than the bike, don't I? Being very silly here. You can see I'm not bothered about weighing bikes, Kate. Okay? That was 11 kilograms. So that was 11 kilograms. That surprised me, did that? That's nice. That's sweet, is that? I'll take that any day. So if there's anything else you want to know about it, then uh, please, yeah, just send me a message and I shall try my best. But um, that's it. Lovely bike. Like I say, I've got a I've got the uh, White Industries, one by Crank. I'm using a square taper, their square taper bottom bracket, just because I like the simplicity of them and the strength and reliability. And uh, what else do you want to know? So as I've mentioned before, these alternator dropouts can come out. There's that beautiful, clean little split there in the frame so you can run a gates belt. I've got the Sun Dynamo on the front and um, DT. I'm running size small. I'm five foot seven ish in centimeters. I'm exactly 171 centimeters barefoot, and I'd definitely get this frame size if um, wouldn't hesitate to get the frame size. Uh, what else? Just that head tube angle, this, yeah, this isn't a gravel bike, this is a mountain bike and uh, that head tube angle just gives you so much more confidence. Uh, even going uphill, uh, I can tackle um, tackle stuff. And that guy that I saw yesterday that said it was a gravel bike, he, um, he also said that I'd need suspension but I didn't. I'm uh, 48 years, years old this year. And I want to spend more time riding the bike than playing with toys, setting them up. So uh, my first bike was the uh, a red Specialized Hard Rock. My second bike was the beautiful sort of like golden metallic Kona Cindercone. They were fully rigid and then I had a few Santa Cruz Super Lights. Um, I find rigid easier for my kind of riding obviously you wouldn't want to throw me off a mountain on one but for my kind of riding that I enjoy nowadays then yeah I don't need suspension I really don't need suspension I look at them I see them come up on Instagram and see some Stanton hardtails in titanium and stuff and I'm like, Ooh, that looks really really nice but um, yes I think those days are behind me now but yeah, that's the uh, Salsa Fargo. Really, really nice. People might be thinking, Dylan, you like your pinions and you roll off so much, why have you got this? Well, the reason being that this bike, with you just get different dropouts, they're called alternator dropouts here. You can see, if I move around here, 
it's got a beautiful little neat split in it there so you can run a roll off in a very neat way and the gates carbon belt so you've got the best of both worlds in summer times if you're doing quick blast rides you can stick your derailleur on in winter when you're doing a long tour in the middle of nowhere stick on your roll off got rid of the dropper I had an external uh, dropper on there got rid of that because I normally have some bags on the back and you know drop in the post just a couple of uh, centimeters is a bit of a waste of time and uh, I know you can get some different saddle bags now that have a stoppers here but again it does still minimizes the amount you can drop your post if you've got a bag on there you know you're only going to drop it a little bit and I do really like a dropper post on a mountain bike but uh, it just seemed a bit unnecessary for this bike um, really comfy absolutely love it just on a little ride so this is what we call Blackstone Edge in Calderdale and I've just uh, I've come from way over there around here and then I've just done a bit of a biker hike up here to the to the trig and now I'm going to go back down that way and uh, yeah it's all good so another good thing about this uh, frame and fork combo is the tyre versatility so this bike will run 700c it will also run um, 27.5 plus to 3 inch and what other bikes do is they run they might be uh, 29 or 27.5 plus interchangeable but if they do they generally go to a max of 2.8 this will do a uh, three inch in 29 and mode as well look at the the space back there so this is a 29 2.2 on at the moment look at the front so you can see how much space there is there so this will do like say three inch in both 27.5 and 29 Lots of versatility with this bike I've got on there now. You might have seen pictures with different bar tape on. My partner says I always go too colourful, so I've uh, tried to tone it down a bit with this brown tape and it looks really nice. Got the uh, friction shifters, well they are indexed as well, 12 speed, one by. Um, micro shift. All you do is you just flick a lever there and it can be in indexed mode or friction shift mode i just run it in friction shifter because i find that friction shifting is the best way to shift a derailleur easiest most straightforward so yeah really versatile frame mix up however you want different wheel sizes roll off single speed whatever you want this is where we are now on the way home